We are now at the last topic in this chapter, polarization. The electric field vectors of an electromagnetic wave are in a plane perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the wave, and we're going to call that the plane of polarization. Light from the sun is emitted independently from its atoms, so the electromagnetic wave's planes of polarization are in random directions. This is unpolarized light. Most of light's interaction with matter is due to the electric field vector, not the magnetic field vector, so we're going to focus on the electric field. We're going to talk a little organic chemistry right now. There are certain long organic molecules that are called polymers, and they have a property that, let's say the length of the polymer is like this, they will let electrons go up and down their lengths but they will not let them vibrate this way. So, if you have an electric field of an electromagnetic wave parallel to the polymer's length, it accelerates the electrons in the polymer, and that's going to take energy away from the electromagnetic wave in the electric field. So the electric field that is pointed in that direction will lose energy. Electric field vectors that are perpendicular to the chain are unaffected because the electrons can't vibrate in that direction so the electric field component loses no energy. Now the practical application of this sunglasses and light filters. Here's a schematic of this effect. Let's take unpolarized light from the left, for example from the Sun. You can see how the electric field vectors are pointing in every single direction. So let's just choose one that's going in this path. It hits the polymer now, since it is vibrating perpendicular to the polymer's organic molecules, it will pass through as if nothing had happened. Any other wave that is vibrating parallel to this polymer, or portions of that wave that are parallel, will get absorbed by the polymer. So I wind up over here with electric field vectors pointing in only one direction. We call that polarized in the vertical direction. Polarizing sunglasses, and those are the good sunglasses you buy, contain a polarizing filter that blocks the horizontally polarized light. So light that reflects off water or other horizontal surfaces is mainly horizontally polarized. So this light, this reflection will be blocked. The reflection off the water here would be blocked. It'll reduce the intensity of the light, but it won't lose any of the details because you still have the vertical electric fields coming so you can resolve what you're seeing. So this cuts down the glare. If you were to put two polarizing filters back to back, let's say one like this and then the other one up here where they were polarized in the exactly perpendicular direction, light coming from here would be vertically polarized. It would then hit this and it wouldn't be able to get through this filter so you would have no light on the other side. It would be dark.